let's talk about the Warriors first, actually. Okay. Um, I had them slotted in as that playing fringe playoff team, and I don't think I can put them any higher. I think it'd be disrespectful for me to be like, they're definitely, they're not a lottery lock. <laughs> but I cannot comfortably say, like, they are going to be a top six seed. Like, the teams in front of them are just more stacked or have performed better as of late. And I am really, like, we've talked about it so many times, bro. When it, like, when the rubber hits the road in tight games or if you get into, like, play-in, playoff series, like, what is this perimeter defense going to look like? Like they're, they're really their defense in general. Like, if you're Not giving for... long minutes to a Chris Paul, Steph, and Clay lineup, like, it's tough. And then, like, your alternatives are on the – and the front quarter is going to be, like, a mixture of Draymond and Looney. Um, maybe you try to go small with Kaminga and Draymond, who, shout out to him, has had a, a really great postseason. Um, you know, definitely has looked better, um, you know, during postseason, preseason. Um, had a couple of big, I think he had a 28 point game and then like two more 20 point games as well. Um, so glad to see that it looks like he's taking that next step. But, bro, six, seven, six, eight in the front court in a conference that has the best center in the league and it is always going to be tough for me to rationalize against. And we saw that it doesn't look like anybody can really guard Jokic. But it's like you've got other seven footers who are trying. Like, what is Draymond going to be able to do? What is Looney going to be able to do? Like, all of them are giving up significant size in that matchup. Um, so it's they're in an interesting spot. Like, I still think Steph is arguably playing, I think he's comfortably still in his prime. For um, sure. and there's arguments to be made that like he is playing still some of the best basketball we've seen from him. Obviously, Clay is not the same since the injury. Draymond is getting older. He's 33 now. He's not even going to be able to be there for their first couple of games. I think he has an ankle sprain. That just got announced today. Um, and then the the bench, too, is it's a lot of young guys and a lot of unproven guys like there are just some real question marks with this roster that I know we both had going into the offseason, during the offseason. They made it worse. They made all their moves. <laughs> like A lot of stuff that we said at the end of last season that they need to address was not addressed. And they're rolling it out and kind of just went a different direction with bringing in CP3. And so for what it's worth, you know, the – his fit with the team offensively has not looked bad. It's, I'd say it's looked good. He looks comfortable. I, I always figured he would be able to figure it out. Like he's too good of a floor general to not, but the defense is always going to scare me. It's always going to scare me with this team. And so again, I, I cannot comfortably be like, yeah, bro, it'll be a top six seed. Cause like, bro, night in, night out, y'all are going to, Y'all are playing that lineup. People are going to expose it, bro. They're going to expose it. So you have to really be able to run the score up on people or at least get into shootouts. And I don't know, Clay's shooting was up and down last year. That's just such a hard thing to do. Like, I mean, like we're talking about the best shooting team of all time, like with two of the best shooters of all time. But like, but one of them hasn't still, looked like it. He's right. Just, like, he hasn't. That's just a like reality it. of playing the game that way like bro y'all mess around having off night like y'all can't afford to have off nights right your exactly. defense is your defense is never gonna hold you down and keep you in the game bro because like if and when clay was off in his prime clay was still like a great defender so he's still mm -hmm. giving you something now when clay's off he's a liability on the court like he's right. actively not giving you anything if he's not hitting shots and he right. has not been hitting shots so yeah like i like, I honestly just, like, switched my list up as you were talking because I'm just thinking about it and I'm looking at my list. It's like – and I'm just thinking, would I take these teams over the Warriors? And a lot – like, a lot of teams, I was just like, yeah. Like, I'd rather, like, put my faith in them over a Warriors team who – like, you talked about the lineup. It's just – I don't like the lineups. I don't like the Chris Paul acquisition. I, I just I just think it just 
like you said, can they make it work? Yeah. At the end of the day, that will get exploited. Crazy. That perimeter defense is going to get in the oh playoffs. It would be bad, bro. It would be bad. Like, all right, right now, who who's their starting lineup right now? But just like it's probably going to be Chris Paul, Steph at the two, Clay at the three. You cannot say Wiggins you could, coming off the bench, bro. There's no well, way. But but if Draymond's not playing, it'll probably be Wiggins Looney. I will, all right, playoff time. Wiggins oh, and Draymond's back. Say just or just say Draymond's there. So then who coming off the bench? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You, know, bro. you can't you can't put Clay off the bench. I mean, you could. I you probably should. would. But like, you know <laughs> you what I mean? But like, are they, is is Kerr really gonna pull that trigger? Yeah, my that's CP3 my... clearly don't want to come off the bench, and he said they about to win the in season tournament. He need he get himself a ring one way or another. <laughs> How about say you want to win something? But bro, that's my point. Where it's like. Cause I feel like Wiggins got to start, but even then, so like, say you have a lineup of just like, and you can't have Looney come off the bench. Like it's just, it just doesn't make sense. Because even if you have a lineup of like Chris Paul, Steph, let's just say Clay comes off the bench. Let's just say Clay comes off the bench. Mm-hmm. Chris Paul, Steph, um, Wiggins, Draymond, Looney. Your best perimeter defender is Wiggins, so that means right. you got to put Wiggins on their best player. That means you got to hide Chris Paul and Steph. Or you got to put them on, like, yeah, it just, it just doesn't work, bro. I, I just don't like it at all. I really yeah. don't like it. I feel like it's easily exploit, like, exploitable. And, bro, I don't okay. care how good of a defender Draymond is, bro. He's not covering all that up. Their first game is against Phoenix. Oh, with my God. No, <laughs> with, with no Draymond. <laughs> so we gonna see, food eight. We're going to see real quickly <laughs> what's going to happen. Yo, Devin Booker's about to go for like 50. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. Can you just imagine Devin Booker's come up to court and it's Chris Paul? Like, <laughs> that's food, bro. That is food. But you know, oh you know, you know Chris Paul crafty. He probably know all his moves. Bro. bro, that is food, bro. Like, I do not <laughs> care. Bro. All right, what you go? Sw- I right, switch. I can't guard him. You get him, Steph Curry. Like, what? Cause you can't gotta put Wiggins on on KD or KD's gonna go for a hundred. Like, I mean, still, I mean, like KD, it's KD's not somebody that you really. What did PJ Sucker say when he was guarding him in that that next you series? You, I just had to pray. Like at some Literally. point, bro. If some of these people, if if him or Book, in in some respects, Bill, if any of them get hot, like. I hope they miss, bro. Like, I mean, I did, I genuinely that's just a terrible matchup because it's just funny how like. They already can't guard KD. Then you gotta have book, and then like Steph or or Chris Paul will be on Bradley Bill, and he mm-hmm. can cook both of them. That that's why I was laughing because that's just the world's worst matchup for them. But right. It's just in general, even a team that obviously doesn't have as much firepower as that, you're still gonna run into that problem because you're gonna have yeah. to put Wiggins on the other team's best as best offensive player, and then Steph and, and Chris Paul is gonna have to guard somebody, bro. At the end of the day, they're gonna have to guard. So. Right, and I, uh, it's not even just individual matchups. Like you start getting these dudes into actions, pick and roll, off balls, DHO. It's just there. Any good coach, I think, would do a lot to stress both of them on the defensive side of the ball, knowing that their really only best option to win games is to just try to explode on offense. It's gonna be tough to do if I'm making Steph Curry chase me around a bunch of screens, like give him a taste of his own medicine. Exactly. Cause you're gonna have to guard, bro. And it, like at the end of the day, too, a lot of, cause I, I I put the Warriors down to play in as well. I I was trying to give Steph the benefit of the doubt. That's it. Not the Warriors. Like I was just actively trying to give Steph and Curry the benefit of the doubt. But I just I just can't. Like I can't. Like I said, I can't put them in the top six seed. But like they also struggled bad on the road last year. Like was one of the worst road teams last year. Mm-hmm. And even if you want to chalk it up to like. Okay, the Draymond Pool stuff had a lot of off the court drama and stuff like that. All right, cool. We got Pool out of there, and you brought in Chris Paul, <laughs> the guy that he says he hates. And it's like that, is, bro. At the end of the day, they're gonna have like three fights <laughs> this season, bro. Minimum, because it's like, bro, you brought in another like big personality. Draymond is probably gonna start some with Chris Paul. It's probably gonna be some drama at some point in the season. It's just like that drama stuff isn't gonna go away. So Mm-mm. I just I can't see a world where they put it all together and really go on a run. If they do, bro, I I would I'm just gonna be happy with just being wrong. Like if they just if they really put it all together, the lineup like is the new deaf lineup and they figure it out somehow, I'm perfectly okay with just being wrong. Yeah, I look, 
I, I'm a stand on business. So if they, <laughs> if, they, if they they pull it off, bro, more power to you. I, I didn't see the vision. I would say a lot of NBA fans don't see the vision. Yeah. We ain't see the vision when the signing happened. It's <laughs> like, if, right. if y'all figure it out, bro, y'all got it. Y'all got it. Facts. Um, 